guys here we are in a ship one of those big pirate ships that uh, go take the tourists from Alanya uh, for four or five hours out to the sea and there is music and there is phone party we are excited this is our second uh, trip on one of those kind of the first one we took was on a smaller boat and it was private just our family and this is one of those big ships so I'm gonna film and show you as we go uh, last time we all remember what happened Nuki and Sarah they uh, bailed out they uh, they jumped off the ship if you will so our ship is called Vikingen and uh, this is our ship it's pretty big it's they're pretty much all kind of you know same size different designs slightly a uh, ship like this would be a good example how our ship also looks from outside in a way and uh, water today is nice and calm so I think it's gonna be good sailing our day began with the transportation that was provided with the ticket uh, to Marina and back which we thought was nice also our group was all there in this bus uh, we also picked up one more family on the way uh, since we all came there at the same time and we had a group of 17 people it was a perfect time to take a photo also I should mention uh, six years and under uh, kids do not pay the ticket and that's also kind of good to know we were one of the first people who boarded the ship and we waited about an hour until the ship took off Sabi and me went to explore the ship. This ship had uh, three levels of the decks and on the second level there was this cute dog that we found that belonged to a crew member uh, of the ship and he was traveling with us. He was amazing. This caught my eye too. A crew member jumped in the water to get a plastic pistol that one of the kids dropped and uh, he went down there in the marina and got the pistol for him so maybe around let's say 11 o'clock we started heading out uh, most ships either went few minutes before or few minutes after us and it's just amazing scenery there a lot of people were taking photos and videos All these ships pretty much cost the same and look the same and go about the same route. So after a few minutes of sailing there was one of the crew members going around and trying to make uh, extra money by selling the hats of the pirates and also drawing some crazy stuff on kids face. So shortly after, just on the other side of Marina by the Red Tower, we uh, parked our boat and uh, went for our first swim. In total, we had uh, three swims that day. So we opened the jumping or diving uh, from a lower platform. And then uh, later on, we kind of moved on to the bigger platform which uh, was about two meters high, maybe a little bit more than that. So after about half an hour of uh, our first swim, we uh, hit the sea. And then I noticed a guy went in the water again. It's the same crew member that went to grab that 
pistol. And I was like, what is he doing? He was swimming towards the shore, towards the mountain. And then he disappeared in a cave, which uh, was very cool because we met him on the other side of the cave. And uh, that's where he swam back to the ship. And uh, it was very cool to see. This is one young, brave man to jump from that height. Yeah, we gotta give him props. On this scene, we can see a fisherman, which was very interesting because to get there, it was not easy to, to do for sure. So give him props for that. Now we were going towards the Cleopatra beach. It is also known as uh, one of the famous beaches in Turkey uh, who got named after the Queen Cleopatra. Just a beautiful scenery. So as you can see, most of these boats ended up here as their second destination and this was our uh, second uh, swim opportunity and swimming in deep waters is something else. This also caught my eye, there was like this little tiny boat, like a speedboat and uh, going from ship to ship and then he came to our ship and I thought maybe they're gonna come on, maybe they're selling something or maybe taking the tourists off the boat if they are feeling uh, seasick or something. But uh, they came very close and then they, for some reason, decided to take off. It just reminded me of like real pirates who want to get on the ship and, you know, the main money or something. It's such a great way to spend a day in, on these ships and swimming in deep waters really is something else. I really, really enjoyed a lot. And for those who didn't burn enough energy on these two attempts of swimming, well, they found ways of, you know, dancing on the ship and, uh, you know, burning some more energy. And after that second swim, we had our uh, lunch, which was also included in the price of the uh, excursion. As you can see, we had spaghetti, chicken, salad, and soft drinks were also included in that price. Shortly after that, we went to another beach that's called Paradise Beach. And uh, just a beautiful scenery as we went on the coastline. This was amazing, amazing beach. Some people actually swim to the shore and enjoy the shallow waters. Most of the people actually stayed close to the boat in the deeper waters. And here is the ice cream boat, which we all know took Nuseta and Sari back to shore when we went on our smaller boat excursion. And uh, this boat was making chips from one boat to another, selling ice cream. And of course we couldn't resist, it's a really really good ice cream and this is how it looks. So 
so this was our third and final swim opportunity of the day from my understanding they seem like they told me there will be one more after this but uh, this was it this was the third and final time of uh, swimming and then we had the foam party which was really a hit Kids loved it, adults loved it, uh, it was really, really cool. After that was over, we uh, started heading back to the marina. It took about four hours of the whole trip and uh, we came there, everything was good. The transport was already waiting for us. So this concludes our trip. It was great. We were so lucky. The weather was fantastic and this time nobody uh, went off the board. I asked people around in our group like how would you rate it, uh, we give it about 8 uh, out of 10 for uh, overall rating uh, including food, service, entertainment, uh, price, uh, all in all we thought it's a great experience, we would definitely recommend it. If you ever come here please do uh, haggle with those guys, bargain and uh, you know see how much of a price you can get. Uh, don't settle for the first price. You can get a good price and especially if you have a bigger group They give you a better price too So this would be it for this video. Hope you like it and uh, we'll uh, catch you next time